Revelation 1539 from the 25th of July 1940 Purpose and cause of the proclamations Pure word of God United efforts will succeed in making the Christian teaching accessible to people again in all purity because everywhere the Lord pours out his spirit and enlightens those who want to serve him and so these will stand in knowledge and they will well know how to distinguish what corresponds to the truth and what human teachings have been added to the teaching of Christ. And as willing people put themselves into the service of God, they will also be called to a task which they themselves are sometimes not yet quite aware of. They are destined to be mediators of the divine word and are now to enlighten people who have been caught in error who accepted erroneous teachings as truth and for whom the way upwards has therefore been made more difficult. No man will want to close his mind to a convincing explanation of the divine will, but very often men do not strive for the pure, truth, and the reference to God's love and omnipotence is in vain if man does not have the will to be enlightened about God and his work. The desire for God and the search is the prerequisite that he lets himself be found and that he makes himself known through words of love. But if the human will remains completely untouched, it will also be completely indifferent to the fact that the teachings of Christ need purification, and it will recognize neither the purpose nor the cause of divine manifestations, yes, it will only laugh mockingly at the credulity of men and his own train of thought will go completely astray. But the pure, teaching will spread, and this all the more surely, as the divine word, which is pure and unadulterated, comes from above. My word will not pass away for eternity. God speaks from his word, from what was originally given by God, and he animates this word with his power so it will work where it is believed and accepted as a heavenly gift. Inevitably, the teaching of Christ has been formed by men and could not possibly work in its present form. Consequently, the teaching must become again what it originally was, and this is the purpose of the Lord through the re-proclamation of his teaching, because only this pure, teaching can bring about the success that man becomes noble and good consciously unites with God and draws the highest benefit from this connection. God himself gives the word to his children, he establishes the connection and communicates himself through the word to those who love him, but where there is human error, God must avoid people the, because his purity cannot be the where the spirit of lies is active. But everything that is purely man-made is a lie because man errs as long as he does not unite with God to receive the pure truth from him, and therefore it is necessary that men recognize the value of these proclamations, that they recognize the meaning and purpose of earth life and that now a means is offered to them to form earth life meaningfully and purposefully and to form themselves according to the will of God. Amen.